The cracks, or in geological terms, the fissures, are extending towards the Grindavik. We had this chart of the tremor showing the eruption started in the Sundonkar, the old craters from the 13th century, and bang, the extension of the fault line created this crack in the ground, and the lava oozed out of the ground earlier tonight. And as you can see, we are now having an eruption. The extension of this uh, fissure or crack has now reached the four kilometer threshold. It's erupting 100 to 200 cubic meter per second. That's bigger than anything else we have seen so far in anywhere in the Reckoness Peninsula. Very similar to what we have the description of it from the 13th century when people were describing, um, mostly monks and, uh, you know, in monasteries and so. And this is the situation you can see that the old craters are now active again. This is the place that the earth crust was weakest. The cracks already existed. And you can see the flying of the bombs and lapilli into the air erupting from these uh, craters are now uh, p picking a pace. As you can see, the flow is toward the south, which is toward the uh, right of the image you can see here and the downhill direction is also toward the so that's for them easier initially it went to the north slightly now it's going toward the south and the cracks may extend actually there there is no need for the lava to go there the earth is open uh, opening up and four kilometer may reach five six and eventually reach the Grindavik the town that was wisely evacuated by the Icelandic uh, authorities. 4,000 people abandoned their homes and went to accommodation that the government provided for them and in the national solidarity. This is the map of the area. As you can see, Sortsengi is similar to the Schwartz in German, means black, and Sengi means bed. These are the black beds. The extension of the fault line may reach Grindavik, and Grindavik will be probably not be livable after that. I have a video about it. You can watch it now. The fragile cannot be saved. Grindavik has experienced the most astounding earthquakes we have seen so far in Iceland. A swarm of earthquakes split the town. Cracks appeared, some of them three kilometers long. We are not trying to fill them up, but it's futile, I believe. Because these cracks are not the cracks just created by the landslides, subsidence, things like that. This is land rising, falling down, and then rising back. This is tectonism. Mid-Atlantic ridge here is opening up. We are creating earth, new ground, by the magma rising to the surface. And in the process, these cracks will widen up and make pathway for the molten rock to come up. This is a rift valley situation where we have a rift opening up, the middle part falling, both sides are rising. This is what we see in Grindavik. This is historically what we see. There is a reason that there is a port there, a shallow water safe enough for the ship to anchor there. There is a reason the two sides of it are higher than the middle part where the port is. And that is the process that has started not now, not this year, decades ago, probably millions of years ago. And nothing can fill up that crack. Otherwise, Grindavik will not exist. That port is there because this crack was created. And it is not going to be stopped. Nothing can fill it. It's futile. Saving Grindavik.